Welcome to the Reserva tutorial video for refinement of account settings, uh, branding, and admin accounts. So we'll start off by going to the settings tab and going to app settings. Now we'll cover all of these sections in subsequent videos, but for right now we're just going to look at booking settings. This particular feature here forces clients to log in when booking. You have the opportunity to leave that on, which is the default, and give your clients an actual account every time they, or for the first time they book. Uh, or you can turn it off, and uh, they can just enter their name, phone number, and email address when they book. We've also got this next five bookings feature, which is great for busy businesses. It'll show your clients the earliest they can get in. And next, I'd like to show you the general information tab. Here you can update uh, your address and time zone, as well as the booking interval that sets the uh, minimum appointment length. And now we're going to have a quick look at branding. So first, we will upload a square logo. Uh, the square logo uh, will show up when people save Reserva to their home screen on uh, phone or, or other device. You've got your social settings and a custom header tagline. For our purposes, we're going to write cash only. And then we're going to upload a custom header image, which is a uh, wider rectangular image with our company logo. And there we have our logo and branding. And now we'll go look at admin accounts. So you'll see here the first admin account is the one that uh, we signed up with. Here I can change my password. I can also add some information about my location. And I have access to change which notifications I'll receive. We're going to go ahead and add an admin account for our other provider. So we'll go ahead and enter an email address. And a first name and last name. And this will automatically send an email with a password. And we'll change the permissions as well so that Jim is only receiving his notifications. And you'll notice here that uh, it is possible to delete Jim's account, but not my account, um, because I'm the primary admin account. And there you have booking settings, logo and branding, and admin accounts.